Okay, folks, uh, happy Sunday morning. And uh, as you can see, I need to do a little bit of a cleanup here. Got all kinds of things in out of the way places. So we're gonna do that before we go crazy here. And then we should be able to get rolling on the uh, hand gunners for the Hungarian war wagons. This will give a chance for some folks to start coming by because usually in the first 10 minutes or so, not too many people that are on, but we should be on for at least a couple hours, I would imagine. Two, three hours. Sunday is usually the long session. All right. Well, that may get us where we need to go. We need to put away our finished models that we have over here. I need to go put them in the case. But um, and we do need to base this guy in. We did finish the... Uh, I think on Friday night, I could be wrong. We ended up basing this guy in black. Um, so this thing is good to good to go, so to speak. Always seem to be live at the wrong time. No, you just live on the wrong continent, or on the wrong island, or in the wrong country. I can't figure which one it is. Maybe it's all three. <laughs> yeah. Well, what time do you want me to be on? <laughs> you just come up with another excuse. <laughs> all right. Let's. Uh... All right. Let's turn this around. <clears throat> and we'll put JS2 over here on the side. Okay. <clears throat> Wrong time zone. Okay, so <laughs> it's almost six AM here, so I gotta do a morning painting. It's too many people awake in the evening and um you know I'm I'm much more burned out or tired at that time. Okay, so we got this guy complete, and yeah, this guy's nearly complete. That's what we're going to do right now is get him done. And uh, at this point, I just want to get this army done. I'm tired of looking at these damn Hungarians. <laughs> no offense if you're Hungarian. I'm just uh, these damn Hungarians. I'm not even that interested in playing them. I just want to get them done so I can start thinking about what the next army is. Okay. Um, right, so let's get the metallic color. We already did the null oil on here. And it's pretty dark, so we're going to go ahead and lighten it up with lead belcher. Actually, this is it's kind of separated too much. Let's um let's put some more of it out here. I wish I had a crystal ball to see if Games Workshop or Citadel is gonna change their paint um, formulas yet again. And if that be the case, because I like what the hell they are now, I'll probably buy three or four of each one of these metallic colors because they obviously last in their new containers. They're definitely my favorite metallics. I have the Yeho metallics, but 
you guys can probably see I don't really pull them out very often. They, I don't like how they behave. They're much more gummy. Except, except the brass one, so, or the bronze, as they call it. All right, and then we are going to go up one color. We're going to bring in that, um, the lighter metallic color, whatever the hell it's called. Or those silly orc names. They're named for orcs. This one. Iron hide, what is it? Iron breaker. Iron something. 16 hour difference. Yeah, it's time for bed for you. <laughs> yeah, so it's almost 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Yeah, I was, that was, that, that was bedtime for me, for sure. I used to be one of those people that would stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning. Used to be. And then I got a job, and I didn't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't pay in the evenings. Because I have to wait all day long to do what I want to do, to do my painting. Here, I get to do it first. Well, after first breakfast. So today, the hard stop is probably going to be, I have to take the daughter to you hear the current theme? Take the daughter here, take the daughter there. Uh, as a driving class. So we signed her up for doing some driving classes with somebody who's, I'm not gonna say someone who's professional or someone that knows how to drive, but somebody who's not afraid of wrecking their own vehicle with their child in it. How about that? <laughs> uh, boots, boots, no, this guy's done. How long before she gets her license? She has her, her birthdays in May. So she got her, uh, the learnings permit, uh, last year and she's driven with us. I'm, uh, we have two leased cars, so we really don't want to have something happen. Well, we don't want anything to happen to her, but we don't want anything to happen to the cars. We'll be responsible. So, um, she should have it by her birthday. You know, because we're so spread out here, you got to drive everywhere here. I I think Australia is the same way. <laughs> Unless you live in a metropolis area. That's why I don't think it'd be a big adjustment to live there. Except for that whole driving on the the side of the road you guys insist on. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. Let's get these boots on and Maybe they aren't boots at all. I don't know. I was trying to figure out what the hell kind of footwear this guy has. Maybe that's... Maybe that's not the right thing at all. I'm thinking he's got a hose on. All right, let's punt. This is why you paint thin. Let's just do his shoes and then we'll give him hose on the bottom. Make him up. 
that's one of my gripes about Essex is the details are so light that you have to create a lot of other things. So sometimes you don't even know what kind of shoes he has on. Well, in this case, usually it comes up more often like, are those sleeves part of the jacket or? I went out to order my glasses yesterday, which, you know, I wear contacts. I have forever. And um, this is the first prescription that I'm actually going to have to get uh, progressives. But the glasses are really to wear at home, you know, when I get home from work and my eyes are tired. But um, I didn't want to get them on my contacts because... Um, I'm, I've gotten used to painting in this without them without in. So I got this 